so let us see a uh, few c language viva questions with answers first is who invented c language dennis ritchie in 1972 developed a new language by inheriting the features of both b c p l and b earlier c was b and adding additional features so he named this language as just c so who invented this b language ken thompson at atnt bell labs developed a language and named it as b even the b language is found to have some shortcomings to support development of both this business application and system software and as we have been talking about b now we need to see bcpl also so who invented this bcpl basic combined programming language it was developed by martin richards in cambridge university then why c language this is often cause you know ask question that why c language c is one of the high level language and it is general purpose language which means it can be used to write programs of any sort it is not specific for any purpose this it is faster also it means fastest known what are the features of c languages in c one can write programs like uh, that of high level language as in cobol basic and fortran as well as it permits very close interest in, uh, interaction with the inner workings of the computer so it is general purpose programming language it is usually called system programming language but equally suited to write a variety of applications it supports various data types it follows the programming style based on fundamental control flow constructions of structured programming so function may be predefined or user defined and they may return values of basic types structures unions or pointers then this is often asked what are the advantages of c languages and what are the disadvantages so what are the advantages easy to write rich set of operations and functions that are built in support for bitwise operation also and flexible use of pointers direct control over the hardware ability to access the bios and dos uh, this routine is interacting using interrupts and ability to write tsr program uh, and ability to create this dot com file ability to create dot lib you know library file to write interface programs and incorporating assembly language in c program this can be done so this this is why and that is why c is such a strong language what are the disadvantages of c language difficult to learn somewhat and because of its conciseness the code can be difficult to follow and this is not suitable to application that require a lot of report formatting and data man file manipulation so what are the salient features of c languages these are the salient features of c language c is called a middle level language c support a structured design approach c is extensible c has rich data types and operator and c is portable what is a header file header files provide the definition declaration of the library functions so each header file contains the library function along with necessary definitions and declaration for example we have stdo.h math.h stdlib.h and string.h then you may be asked what is a character set character set is the set of characters allowed and supported in a programming language generally a program is a collection of instructions program is a collection of instruction which contain group of characters only a limited set of characters is allowed to write instruction in the program this is the character set then what is c token you should be asked smallest individual unit of c program are known as tokens list the different type of c tokens we have constant identifiers keywords operators special symbols strings so what is a string a string is a sequence of character ending with a null and you ll null so it can be treated as one dimensional array of character 
which is terminated by a null character, any null character. So what are these qualifiers? This may be asked. Qualifiers or modifiers or identifiers that may precede the scalar data type. You know, qualifiers or modifiers are identifiers that may precede the scalar data types to specify the number of bits which will be used for representing a respective type of data in memory. For example, we have short, long, signed and unsigned. These are all the qualifiers. What is a function? A function is a set of statements to perform a set of specific tasks. This you can say when you are being asked what is a function. And what is constant? A constant is a value that does not change during the programming execution. So a constant which is used in C does not occupy memory. This is so good, so important. And what are different type of constants? Uh, there are five uh, types of constant. If you are asked, you can tell them. Integer constants, floating point constants, character constant, string literals and enumeration constants. There are five constants. What is a variable in C? An identifier which is used to identify and store some value. These are variables. So if the value of the identifier is changed during the execution of the program, then the identifier is known as a variable. These are variables. What are the rules for the identifier? The first character must be an alphabet or an underscore. You cannot start with a number. You can't start with any uh, 0 to 9 number, right? Digits uh, to, to be specific. Digits may be included in the variable but inside. The maximum number of characters in a word are 32. Actually, it depends on the uh, platform. I, I would say you can say it, it is 256. So no other special characters are allowed, only one special character that is underscore. What are global variables? Global variables are those which are required to be accessed by all the functions defined after their declaration. Right? So the variables declared before the main, main function can be accessed by all the functions which follow their declaration. These are global variables. What is a keyword? Keyword are those words of C which have predefined meaning assigned to or assigned by the C language. So they form a part of the database which is required by C compiler. And you cannot use keyword as your variable or identifier. Then you may be asked what are the different types of C instructions. There are basically three types of instructions in C. Type declaration. Instruction, arithmetic instruction, control instruction. These are type declaration instruction, arithmetic instruction, and control instruction. What is an expression? Expression is defined as a combination of operands and operators to obtain some computation. So operands represents variables or values, and the operator tells is what the operation to be performed. Then you may be asked what are the types of data files. You can say there are two types of data files stream oriented or standard data file system or low level data files. So, why C is called a middle level language? Because C combines the feature of both assembly language, low level language, and higher level language. That is why it is a middle level language. For this reason, C is referred to as middle level, middle level language. So the feature of all ALs is the uh, assembly language, uh, language is that of enabling us to develop system of level programs and the features of high level languages are those of high degree of readability and machine independence and English like structure. Then you may be asked how can variable be characterized and give the rules of variable declaration. So how can variable be characterized? A variable can be characterized by storage class as well as by data type. So the storage class specifies the portion of the program within which the program variables are recognized. And give the rules of variable declaration. Uh, rules of variable declaration of C as I earlier suggested, it should start with any uh, you know, uh, variable 
You can start with underscore and alphabet, not digit, but it may contain alphabet, digit and underscore. The length variable should be kept up to 8 characters, 40 characters, you can go up to 256 also. They must begin with the alphabet, some system also recognize underscore as the first character. So white spaces and commas are not allowed. These are not allowed. Any reserved word, keyword cannot be used as a brief name. As I suggested, keyword you cannot use. And you may be asked what is the purpose of type declaration, right? You can say the type declaration allows or allow to create a synonym for other data types. So its syntax is type def type identifier. So you use this type def. The declaration type uh, def unsigned long integer is integer i n t e g r e g r capital one. So these are the purpose of type declarations. What is recursion? C language a function may call another function. So when a function calls itself, it is referred to as recursive call, and the process is known as recursion. C provides very good facilities for recursion. So what is data types? This may be asked. Data types refers to the classes of data uh, that can be manipulated by C programs. Right? The three fundamental data types which is supported by C are character, integer and real. So this was uh, very few questions just to start with. Thank you so much. Take care.